Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So this week's vlog was a little bit all over the place. Um, it was over a different period of time than usual. Usually I just vlog on the weekends and it's just whatever I do on the weekend pretty much. But this vlog consists of like a bunch of random different days but where I was doing certain things on those days. Like I got my hair done, I got a tattoo, we celebrated my sister-in-law's birthday. So it was like a bunch of little things here and there and it wasn't all over just one weekend and while i was vlogging all those things i wasn't being a very good vlogger and i was just vlogging bits and pieces without like a beginning and an end so it's very all over the place very choppy very much doesn't make sense if i didn't make a proper intro and like explain each part so this is going to be a little bit of a different type of vlog we're just going to go through each part and i'm going to show you whatever i did so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into it i believe the first thing I vlogged was taking my sister-in-law Tori to go get her ear pierced for her birthday. Yeah, so let's get to the piercing part of this vlog. First and foremost, it is the day after the announcement of the Supreme Court and all of their bullshit. Um, I don't want to get into it because I get extremely emotional and extremely pissed off, but just know I'm actually not in the greatest mood. I've tried to put myself in a good mood today. I had to run a couple errands early this morning. I filmed a TikTok collab, so I was really like trying to force myself to be upbeat because it's, it's a very sad time in America. Um, America is absolutely going to shit. I know previously like people are being dramatic when they say like, I'm moving to Canada, blah, blah, blah. But like, I'm seriously considering where the fuck else I can move. Cause if you don't know, I'm in Texas, which is like top five worst states to live in right now. Um, if you're a woman or a minority or basically not a Christian white male, this is very scary. So it's a, it's not a great weekend, a great day. It is Saturday. So like, yay that I'm not at work. When I found this shit out and I was at work on Friday, I was holding back tears at my desk. And I almost was like, I cannot be here and be focusing on this shit and these reports. Cause like who fucking cares in comparison to what's going on. But if you follow me, you're probably on the same page as me. If you're not on the same page with me, honestly, we're just, we're just not friends, I'm sorry. I can I can be friends with people who have different opinions on pizza toppings, um, but not when it comes to women's rights, racism, and things along those lines. Those are non-negotiable, so yeah. But I did wanna to vlog today because my sister-in-law's birthday was a couple weeks ago, but we weren't able to celebrate it with her. So today is kind of her belated birthday day i guess so i'm actually taking her to this really cute all women's i mean i don't know if it's technically all women's there might be some men that work there but it's i say all women's because a lot of the piercers are women and i believe it's owned by a woman and just like the whole aesthetic of the place is very girly it's like a girly piercing place so i am taking tori there to get a piercing and she has no clue. So she's not mentally prepared to get a piercing. I hope that when we get there, she's like excited and actually wants to get the piercing. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights. Just keep on wasting. Glass after glass, I keep are you excited? I'm excited. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared at all. And I can't, she, I'm not gonna be able to put my ear pod in. I was. You did? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she decided to get the conch, guys. Mm hmm. Which, like, goes, it's right here. Yeah. Do you sleep on your right side? Uh, both. But I'll just sleep on this one. Okay, so she loved her piercing. As y'all saw, it was super cute. She got her conch pierced. So yeah, definitely check out Wildlike. Such a cute little spot. I wish they had one in Frisco so that it wasn't so far, but worth the drive, super cute. So yeah, I thought that was the perfect gift and she really loved it. After the piercings, we got ready for dinner and I think that I vlogged myself getting ready and whatnot, so cut to that part. Okay, it's way later now. I'm doing my makeup. I already started and then I was like, oh shit, I was gonna vlog this and I totally forgot. But um, like I said earlier, we're going to 
Tori's little like belated, I don't want to say little because it's not, I mean it is little in the sense of it's not that many people, it's just like us, but not little to like make it seem like a small celebration because we're celebrating her birthday. But it's eight o'clock now, our reservations aren't until 9.30 because Vic had to coach today and we didn't know what time he'd be done and he's not home still. So he's on his way home and I'm only gonna be able to vlog <laughs> until he gets home because then he's gonna have to take a shower and obviously I can't vlog in here while he's in the shower. Um, but I will vlog most of me getting ready and then I'll just show you what everything looks like when I'm done. But I'm debating wearing this out tonight, changing the bottoms like into like jeans or, or cute shorts or something. I wish I had a skirt, but I don't own literally any skirts, like cute mini skirts or anything like that. I don't, I don't have any, I should probably get some. But I kind of want to wear this out tonight. Like I've been on and off TikTok all day. And at this point, my entire TikTok is about Roe v. Wade. I am just so heated and so pissed and so sad. I've I've cried, I'll watch these TikToks and tear up and I've reposted a bunch of them on Instagram stories and I just seen all of it and like the protests, I think Vic's home. So I'll have to stop vlogging soon, but it just makes me so emotional and so pissed off and like wanna fight back. So I really wanna wear this to dinner, which will kind of be a risk because I live in Texas, like the home of the racist basically. And I say racist because the, the people that are racist are usually, I hate to say it, Republicans and the republicans are the ones that are against women's rights so no they are not all the same they are not all created equal but i would say the majority so if i wear it out it's like a little risky because i'll either get rude comments rude looks or like a waiter or waitress or cook or something at the place is pro-life and they like are rude or like spit in my food or some shit i might i might change i don't really know hi luna you want to say hi Oh, it's a baby. Don't do it. Okay. You sweet girl. Oh, she was a good girl today. Very rare, but she was good. Okay, we're actually home from dinner with Tori and her boyfriend because I ran out of time and completely did not, one, didn't have time to film my outfit because they literally got here. We weren't even downstairs yet, but also I forgot. So here's what I wore to dinner. It was just like a cottony tan dress. I've had this forever. I have no idea where it's from. It's like a decade old. And then I threw this little blazer over my shoulders. The blazer I think is from Pretty Little Thing. Yeah, it's from Pretty Little Thing. And then I actually wore it with these sneakers, these white, what are these, Reebok sneakers. You can't really see like the whole fit. There, there's the fit. Cute. And then I just had my black, crossbody bag that I always wear. And that was the fit, but now it's 12.30. We're tired as fuck because we're old and like it's way past our bedtime. So we're about to get ready for sleep and pass out. Okay, so we went to dinner. It was great. We went to our usual place that we like to go to, Haywire. It's super good. It's like elevated barbecue, but it's real good. Or like elevated Southern cooking. And they have really good drinks. So if you're in the area, check them out. But we did that. It was great. We love her new boyfriend. He's super nice. The little group, like me, Vic, her, and her new mans got along great. So love that. Maybe in the next like year, we'll be at their wedding. Who knows? But then the next week on Wednesday, I got my hair done. Just a little subtle change. Nothing crazy, but insert clip. It is um, Wednesday, June 29th. It's 8.15 in the morning. I'm actually working from home today only because I'm getting my hair done today. My appointment's not till noon, but I still wanted to get as many hours today as I can. Um, so I started working at 7.30 this morning instead of nine because I do have to leave here at 11 because my hair color place is in Arlington. If you're familiar, it's like 45 minutes from where I am. So I leave like an hour ahead of time. So I'm just working from 7.30 to 11. I'll drive there. I'm bringing my work laptop because usually when you're getting your hair colored or for me anyway, it takes a long ass time. So I'm gonna bring my laptop and I'm gonna work at the salon. The plan is to go lighter today, but I'm not talking blonde. I'm not trying to go blonde again. I did that. I lived it. I needed to know how it was and how it felt and how it looked. Got it out of my system. I'm just trying to go like a lighter brown with more dimension. So I don't really know what we're doing today. Like if it's technically a balayage or if it's gonna be like a full highlight with just different toners, I don't know. And I can't decide if I want her to style it curly. She's a curly hair specialist. Both my hairstylists are curly hair specialists. It's gonna be a game time decision. I'm just gonna like decide on the spot. I actually might have her style it. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna work for the next couple hours and then we will head to the hair salon. Yeah. 
Okay, so I just got home and I'm vlogging on my phone because my camera totally died while I was in the salon. So I wasn't able to get the finished look in the salon, but this is the finished look. I'm in my bathroom. This is the best lighting in the house right now. So this is what it looks like. And it's the exact like level of lightness slash darkness that I wanted. But yeah, this is the finished look. I am about to just relax for the rest of the day because it has been a stressful last day. Fun day at the salon. I did want to mention that if you go to the mod lab or like are thinking about making an appointment with them, when I tell you it's such a good time, my arm's about to fall off. So I'm like, I know my stylist knows me, but I'm always so like pleasantly surprised of how friendly all the stylists are towards me just by remembering me from being in their like a year ago. They're just all so nice. Literally all so nice. Every assistant is super nice. Every stylist is super nice. The front desk is super nice. Like all the stylists around your chair will be like having a conversation with you and their clients too. So it's like a group, com it's just so fun. And I just want to give them huge credit for the environment and like the family like loving vibe that they have there because it's super important especially if you're there getting your hair done for five six seven hours you want to have a good experience and they definitely provide a great experience so just wanted to mention that shout out to the mod lab and arlington and all the girls there i freaking love them but yeah i love my hair it looks so motherfucking good and i'm gonna relax for the rest of the day because <laughs> yeah so yeah, that's my new hair. It's very subtle, nothing crazy. But then the weekend after I got my hair done, or like that weekend, so I got my hair done on Wednesday, that Saturday, which was this past weekend actually, it was a little bit crazy. I didn't vlog too much because I was all over the place unexpectedly. But basically I had a tattoo appointment to black out a little bit more of my arm tattoo. So it wasn't like a super exciting tattoo because it's not like a brand new tattoo in another place. It was just, finishing part of the blackout that I already had. Insert whatever clips I have here. Okay, hi, it is Saturday, July 2nd. I'm about to go get, well, we're gonna go get breakfast. Oh my gosh, let me back up. <laughs> so yesterday was Friday. I'm at work and Devin, you guys have seen before, she spontaneously bought a flight and just came up to Dallas and was at my house by the time I got home from work. So she's here for the weekend. We're about to go to first watch to eat breakfast really, really fast. And then we're gonna scoop my sister-in-law and the three of us are gonna go to my tattoo appointment and I'm getting a tattoo today, but it's not like a, a new tattoo. I do plan on getting more tattoos. I, I actually wanna finish my sleeve. I initially never wanted a full sleeve, but now I kinda do. But today I'm just blacking out these two flowers because originally I wasn't sure if I wanted to black them out, so I told her to leave them and I would like live with it, live in it for a while and see how I felt. And now it's been like, I don't know, a year at least or more since i've had this blackout and i decided that i don't like these two flowers in the blackout like that i don't like it i don't know they pop out too much in my opinion i don't like it so i'm just gonna get those blacked out really quick super excited i go to koneko salon not salon studio in dallas and i see linda she's the owner and she's stunning and perfect and i'm so intimidated by her because she's the owner and she's stunning and perfect so yeah but we got to go we're running late Yeah, that was all I had. 
had for the tattoo part of this vlog. The tattoo was booked for like two hours, but it literally took her 30 minutes. It was super fast. Um, and I don't believe I showed you in those clips what it looked like because she wrapped it up afterwards. And right now you don't really get a good representation of what it looks like either because obviously it's still healing. And I had it taped up earlier today. So the part that's not healing looks like light gray and ashy. So it's, it's looking a hot mess. And it's still kind of swollen. My arm is pretty swollen, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> This is not what it will look like in the end when it heals, but right now this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I just got those blacked out, but I did make two other appointments with Linda for the end of this year because I want to do some fun stuff and there will be a plenty of many of future tattoo vlogs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. Like I said, not your typical vlog, a little bit all over the place, but should be going back to normal programming soon. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Kinda new with apologies